So how long have you been seeing uh, Brooke Beckman? Brooke and I have been seeing each other, not romantically. We are very professional. She's extremely professional. Um, I mean, we do have a friendship friendship outside of the the business, but um, I can't really talk about that too much. So you might want to cut this. But she's my best friend. Yeah, she's my best friend. She she respects all of her clients, but I know for a fact I'm her favorite. Now uh, you've got a line of tapes. I am. I am so glad you asked me. My assistant Jason was actually supposed to bring the placards, but um, he didn't. This is from my new series. Uh, I am essentially a teacher first, and Brooks actually helped me realize that that's my calling, that some of us are meant to be teachers, and I teach in the afterlife, because you never stop learning. That's something that people don't tell you when you're alive, so this is a freebie for you who are living, if you see this. Okay. I had some self-esteem issues growing up. Uh, like many people, junior high was a hard time for me. Um, I spent a lot of time in the women's bathroom uh, eating a Mars bar, um, sitting on the toilet. Have you heard that if you do reconstruction to a building, that sometimes that makes us go, calling card, got to get over there, got to get over there. You're f***ing with my stuff. Oh my God, PG. You can just go, beep, beep. I've always wanted that, actually. Because I'm kind of a good girl and that'd be a little dangerous. Like, um, there, with my stuff. Um, perfect. That's like a clown thing. I picked that up. Well, that happens because sometimes I've heard that I have Disney eyes. Did you ever see those Disney videos? Trust in me. It's a snake. He had a reoccurring part. He was in some of them. You could see him in the Robin Hood and you could also see him in the Jungle Book. Um, I think it was played by the same actor, but I'm not saying I'm like the actor. I'm saying it's my eyes. It's my eyes. And also I got a lot of, uh, you look just like Annie Lennox here. Because I like the idea that I could put a pie out and a bird would come to it. Ah, do you know what I mean? So uh, it's the Deborah Jones series, and it's all about how ghosts learn how to scare because nobody teaches you. You know, uh, uh, when you're walking around your daily life, you don't think about it. You are the victim of scaring, if you will. And I break it down so that this is this is to empower you as a specter, as a ghost. It's like I thought that park rangers would be, you know, something anybody could relate to. But then I realized people just didn't really like nature. Profit! Profit! I'm an educator, I'm a filmmaker, and I'm a philanthropist. So I like to invite people into my company, into my fold. So yes, I do have a makeup artist, and um, uh, I have a sound crew. There might be a uh, hold on to your hats here, okay? I was going to say horses, but I think hats is a little bit more 2010. There, there might be a documentary about my life.